today we're going to be making a bracelet out of craft sticks. So the way you would normally do this and the way that you're going to do it is you're going to boil some water and then you're going to put the craft sticks in it on boil for five minutes. We don't have a stove at the library, so I've boiled some water ahead and I'm gonna pour it over here. It's really, really hot. Put a bunch of craft sticks in because some of them might snap when we get to the bending part. And then after you let it boil for five minutes, you're going to let it sit for another 30 minutes to soak up all that water to make it bendy. So we let these sit in the hot water for about 30 minutes. We're gonna see if we can bend one of them and kind of feel them to see how bendy they feel. Some of them will bend better than others. We're gonna bend it around and put it inside this jar. So that's gonna give us the shape that will fit on our wrist. Okay, that one feels like it's gonna break. That one feels a little questionable. That one's a maybe. This one feels good. So what you're gonna do is carefully, oh so carefully, bend it around and do a circle. Kind of shape it to the lid or the top. You're gonna shape it to the top of your jar, like that. And then we're gonna let that dry in that form so that it'll fit over our wrist. All right, so I let this dry overnight. You might not have to let it dry overnight. You could just let it dry a few hours, keep checking it to see if it's uh, dried off. But now you'll see that our craft stick is in the shape of a bangle bracelet. And we're gonna cover it because right now you could wear it like this, but it's not very exciting. I have a ripped out page of a book that fell apart. You're gonna have in your kit some pages from a book that you could choose to use. There will also be some decorative paper. If you want, you could use fabric if you have fabric at home um, or the decorative paper that's in your kit or a paper like this, whatever you want. And you also have Mod Podge in your kit and a brush. So you're gonna use the brush to cover the outside of the bracelet with Mod Podge, like that. And then you're gonna take your paper, you can cut it down ahead of time if you want, or you can leave it the way it is and then trim down after you've got it glued. But you're gonna cover it with, cover your bangle with the paper, whatever paper you choose to use. And then I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit here so that it's a little closer to the edge of the bangle before I cover it again. All right, so if you've pinched it a little bit, it should stick, Mod Podge is very sticky. And then I'm gonna cover the outside. Now, there's two ways to go about this. One is that you Mod Podge it first and then trim it down. The other is that you trim it down really close to the edge first and then Mod Podge it. So I put some Mod Podge on first and then I'm gonna kinda, once it's a little bit wet, it almost rips for you and you can kinda smooth the edges a little bit. I don't even have to use my scissors with this one because once you've got that Mod Podge on there, it becomes really easy to rip. And you can kind of smooth the edges. You'll want to wash your hands after this, obviously. You're getting Mod Podge all over them. Now, if you're using paper other than book paper, because book paper is very thin, book paper rips really easily. If you're using fabric, obviously you'll need to cut. And if you're using scrapbook paper, you'll need to cut. And here on the edge here, I'm gonna trim just around the edge. And I'm gonna smooth the sides down a little bit. Try not to get any of the paper back on your hand and rip it with your finger when you've got Mod Podge. And then I'm gonna Mod Podge over it one more time because we wanna make it nice and hard, you want it to stick and to be waterproof. And then, you're going to leave it to dry. 
And once it's dry, if you want, you can hot glue ribbon into the inside so that when it's on your brace or on your wrist, you have a little bow hanging down for a little more decoration. Or if you have any charms you want to glue on, you could hot glue those on. Um, or if you want to add any jewels, rhinestones, things like that, you can as well. We're going to leave this to dry. And then when it's done, I'm going to add some ribbon and I will show you the final product at the end of the video.